Hello everyone and welcome back. A bit more sad news and a, a bit more of a, um, how should I say, um, disclosure on me knowing full well what batteries can do when left in a component over time and the damage it can cause and uh, and I have a cord uh, tuner here it's about 15 years old I'm thinking and I bought it and it worked exceptionally well it has a tempo metronome kind of a thing and a volume button and a bunch of functions but the tuning part was pretty good it'll kick stand on the back and uh, I think I paid about $55 for it and uh, it's been um, stored in this case for a long time. Actually, the last time I think I used it was 2015. I've since been using uh, the snark tuners that you've been seeing because they clamp on the guitar under handy to have. So anyway, like I mentioned earlier, um, I forgot the batteries. Two AAAs in here. And uh, as you can see, the batteries died and they didn't look terrible but they look like they may have leaked a bit but uh, they <clears throat> I don't know what happened here it's just like bizarre how batteries can do this but you see how that's all faded so anyway um, it's not working uh, I think it might be a date code here let me see would that make sense 09 maybe 08, I don't know. <clears throat> Difficult to say. Anyway, I should have known better. I've thought about this tuner on occasion. It was in a case um, when I, when I, of course, when I was using uh, my other tuners. And um, at some point, I should have removed the batteries, and I, I feel like crap now because I, I'm pretty sure this is dead in the water. As you can see. I didn't keep the batteries, I should have shown you the batteries. The batteries didn't look that bad, but they were dead and looked like they had leaked a bit. The, um, as you can see, the terminals aren't too bad for wear. Not bad. And as you can see in here, it's not, it's not, uh, not too bad, it's not so dirty. But uh, I don't know what happened here. I, I gotta be totally honest with you. I really don't know how somebody could do that much damage. I mean, it's just two AAA batteries. So, you can see a little uh, bit of crystal damage, I guess, here. So, um, I'm going to take it apart and just see what the uh, circuit board looks like. Stand by. Okay, I have the, uh, the back taken off here. And as you can see, it doesn't look like much damage there. Now, there's a date code there. You can double check there. Uh, looks like 2005, I guess. June 2005, maybe? Or, hmm. 8, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Anyway, you be the judge on that one. I've got it probably 15 years or longer. So, um, I don't see... See some corrosion here on the screws, but uh, and a bit of corrosion on the battery terminals. And yeah, okay, I see some problem here. A lot of corrosion right here. I'm hoping, beyond hope actually, that I might be able to repair this. And I can guarantee you the batteries, if it gets repaired, it will not be going back in. Oh, here we go, take code, 2009 most likely. Okay, let's go a bit further in. Okay, here's the flip side. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we have corrosion here. This would need to be cleaned up. Some massive corrosion here right on the battery terminals, which would probably stop it from sending any power back into the unit. Um, bit of corrosion here, some corrosion here. And um, these touch points probably need to be cleaned up. And a little bit of corrosion here, what, dust or something. And uh, yeah. So 
I will give this a, a little clean up with a toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol. The uh, volume button seems to be turning okay. So, you know, you never know. These terminals need to be cleaned up. Um, the speaker itself, you see there's a bit of dirt there, a bit of corrosion. The speaker itself should be fine. And uh, so this strip needs to be cleaned up here as it makes contact here on this bar, I would think. I don't see no wiring on this terminal, so and that would be the LCD. So, all is not lost. Again, I'm going to clean it up and reassemble and see if I can get it to work. I, I highly doubt it, but i got to give it a go. Okay, about four Q-tips later, uh, with some isopropyl alcohol, of which I gotta find a cap. Here we are. Um, okay, the batteries are in the unit. Nothing wagered, nothing gained. I've checked the batteries, and they're good. And I think they're making good contact there. I better check this one. I'm not sure. Seem like a spin in here. Yeah, that's good. Here we are. A uh, moment of truth. Nothing. What did I just see there? Oh. Something's lighting up here. This is the metronome side, but the uh, the tuner side is not working. But again, as you can see, something going on in the tuner department. Let's see if we can get this to work. Start, start, stop. Nope. Yeah, that's a dud. I could take it apart, I guess, and try to clean it again, but uh, as you can see, it's wanting to do something. 188 beats per minute, I guess. So, nothing wagered, nothing gained. Um, Korg TM40, I would recommend. Uh, this is a good tuner, for sure. I've used it. A wonderful tuner. It's on sadly. It's probably been battery damaged beyond uh, any physical re performance right now. So I just want to thank you people for sticking around and watching the video. And I appreciate the uh, support of the channel. Please like, uh, like uh, and subscribe. Have a great day everyone.